What's up, everybody? It's Afro Jota, and I can tell you this again. Uh, I guess y'all heard about the indictment that he's, uh, the officer's not going to be indicted for killing Michael Brown, and I thought it was kind of bullshit. And this is why, because so many things has not been told. Like the officer said that, like, like for one, this video. Everybody seen this video. Everybody seen this whole video about him going into the store and see I don't I can't tell if that's Michael Brown and actually the store owner sat there and told him he never seen Michael Brown in the store he said that is not Michael Brown that he never seen Michael Brown in the store and that's kind of odd that he never seen Michael Brown in the store and this video that's supposed to be taken I don't really you really can't see the time stamp on it you really can't. They said the video was actually done in June. It's like this was recorded in June and Michael Brown down in July. If this video was done in June, why did he die in July? I mean, if he's done, if it's done with June, how he died in August? How did he, it's like? Come on, this is if, if that's Michael Brown, ain't he paying for it? Now we don't know what was said. What was the confrontation? <laughs> Excuse me. We don't know what was the confrontation of this video, but for real. And these po and and the police sent up there saying all this stuff, all this stuff, saying that they work with the FBI and all this and that. They got the same evidence or to the same people and all this and that. As y'all did, then the grand jurors down in Ferguson didn't indict him. Which, what makes y'all think they're going to indict, the FBI's going to indict him? That he's going to walk and go back out and kill more people, more innocent black kids. And I'm not, it's not, to me, it's not about this, it's not about the this officer being white. It's about the person that's wearing the badge. It's not about the color. It, there's more police officers out there killing some innocent people and it could be black, white, gay, straight, man or woman. It's not about what's on the outside. It's about the person wearing the badge killing an innocent person. And I always told in the videos I did about this saying they're going to treat this like it's a, like a Trayvon Martin case. And I, did, and I was right. Just like this, this is evidence. He said his eye got he got socked in the eye and his eye was messed up. I don't see a bruise on the eye. This is evidence that he's, uh, he's supposed to got hit down. But what it, what it makes no sense is how he sat there and told he sat there the officers. It was funny when the, the, the day it happened, his body sat there for four hours without a sheet on it. The officer that killed him walked around his body. If you had an injury, I don't think the cop, the officer will be standing there walking around the body. The officer will be at the hospital getting checked out. Why was he walking around the body? That is the main question, which makes no sense on how this man is walking around the body of him. I just don't get it. And it makes no damn sense, man. I'm sitting up here trying to figure this out. Why? And then they may try to make Michael Brown look bad. It's like, oh, he's a thug. It's like, ain't no thug gonna graduate no high school. They be bragging too damn hard. Oh, man, I ain't graduated. I ain't get no. I ain't getting shit. I ain't got no GED. I just dropped out. You don't never hear thug talking about he got a high school education. You ain't never heard somebody a thug saying he got a high school education. Have you? Hell no. But y'all sitting up there letting these people fill your head for that nonsense. And one thing about it is, man, uh, I thought it was just BS, man, to hear that you can let somebody like him, let let somebody 
kill an innocent black person and this happens every day man an innocent black kid gets killed every every day and nothing's been done because they keep on letting it happen and I think it's ignorant and stupid that I they they keep allowing this to happen and And that's how, I, and that's how I see it, man. It's just stupid shit. They allow, so, oh, they just allow this shit to happen so fucking badly, to fuck it up so much. That's ignorant. That this man might get off from. Just, it's just so ignorant that this man is gonna walk again, gonna walk another time. Cause just so, like, and one thing is, how did they know that? A riot was gonna start. A riot was gonna start down in Ferguson. They they, they already tried to tip over the police car because of the verdict. It really shows you how messed up this is. That there was tipping over cars in, in, in a riot because the grand jury decided not to indict him. And to me, it's just ignorant that y'all brought this on to yourself. Y'all wanted this to happen. I just don't get it, man, for real. I, and, and it's going to continue on because they're never going to change it. They're going to continue to let this happen every every day every it's not about there's more black people getting killed by police than actually gangbangers killing them now because I it just I, it just piss it just gets under my skin because I'm so frustrated about it because this guy's getting away with murder and having to Trayvon and having to Michael Brown it's never gonna stop but it's like yes, it's always vice versa with these damn stories. It's not just black folks is getting killed by police. It's white folks getting killed by police. But you never hear about black people. I mean, not black, but white people getting killed by black, by police officers. You know why? Because they don't want to show it. They don't want to show it. And that's how it is. They're never going to show a white person getting killed by a police officer. You know why? Because it's not that fucking important. See, it's not the same with Hispanics. And that's how it is. And it's just ignorant that they're going to allow this guy to walk. They for real, it's really ignorant that how they're going to allow this guy to walk and get away with so much and And it just—I don't know what else to say, but I'm telling y'all, they was gonna do this. They was already doing this about the whole killing of the of the of people and all the it, it just makes no sense that the an officer can kill people and get away kill people and get away with it because it's all good to kill certain minorities especially black minor, black folks because what because how they put, look at them and I've sat here and I talked about how I'm sick and tired of black folks bitching and all the time against their talk it, it's how y'all betraying yourselves I'm sitting here and I saw videos of people bitching about oh da 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 And I'm know I'm gonna get some comments about well that white man needs to die. I said, now nah, look, it's not just white folks that are officers, black folks too. 
And one thing about it is, y'all sit up there and y'all do more damage than good by portraying this type of stereotype. It's not black folks that are doing it. It's not other minorities that are stereotyping you. It's black folks that are stereotyping themselves. But enough about that. But it's just ignorant to see that this man is going to walk from killing an innocent person. And that's how it is. And I want to know what do y'all think about this? What do y'all think about this kind of stuff happening every day? Do you think we should stop it or what? We should do something about it. We could not stop it. I mean, what should we do to stop this? Plus, but that's why I want to know. How should we stop this issue? How should we stop this? That's the question. Plus, uh, other things. How can we make? How can we make it where police don't kill innocent people and get away with it like they did? Make laws to protect our still. There are laws that protect our stuff. The stand your ground law. There is several states where in the stand your ground law, if you feel threatened by a police officer, you can actually shoot to kill a police officer. Y'all didn't know that. Look that law. Look that law up. Look that law up. There is a law that that's where it says in some states it's shoot to kill. You can actually shoot and kill an officer in several of the states that has stand your ground laws. But that's how it is. But that's how it is, everybody. I wanna tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior Two, CeeLo Junior Two, CeeLo Junior Three. Follow me on t Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Tell me what you think. Plus, I got a question after the. I got a question. I'm thinking about doing mailbag videos. So mailbag videos. So should I do them or should not? Tell me what you think. Should I do the mailbag videos or should I do or should I don't? And I'm Afro Joe the Wicked. Tell me what you think. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.